Hey everyone, it's Sherry from the blog OurLifeHomeschooling.com where I share homeschooling encouragement for everyday moms. I am a mom to nine incredible kids. I'm a former public school teacher turned homeschool mom and I love talking about how homeschooling has made such a big difference in our family. More and more parents are feeling the pressure to put their kids into early childhood education programs at earlier and earlier ages and they feel that if they don't do this, that their kids will be academically behind. I have been in a preschool classroom. I have taught in preschool classrooms. And I feel that home has so much more to offer a preschool child based on their developmental needs. Here are 10 reasons why home is better than preschool. Where can you find an environment that is best suited for the developmental needs of your preschool child? I would like to suggest to you that one of the best places and the best growing grounds for a preschooler based on their developmental needs is your home. Have you ever stopped to consider all that your home has to offer to your child? It's a real environment. There are raw materials, living things. There are real problems to solve. Home is a place of beauty and warmth. It's a very real and natural environment versus a manufactured or artificial environment. Home is a wonderful place for the developmental needs of your preschool child. Number one, adults learn so many things through the means of words. Um, we are either listening to words or we are reading things, and this is how we take in information. Preschoolers, on the other hand, learn almost everything by the means of their five senses. And a home offers so many more sensory opportunities for kids. Um, there's more encounters with raw materials. I have been in preschool classrooms and taught in preschool classrooms. And they work very hard, the teachers work very hard to um, present bright colors, beautiful manipulatives, and just to make it the most um, appropriate to the needs of that age. And if you think about it, the things that they are bringing in to their classroom are the very things that you find the most in a home environment. Essentially, they are doing their best to mimic a natural environment because in a natural environment that is where we find the most sensory opportunities. Number two, they can experience real meals in a real kitchen three times a day. Now you may think well when I'm home I just make PB&J for lunch or it's nothing fancy but they're there for it. They're seeing it prepared. It's not a um, group setting where they have to be in the cafeteria at certain hours. They're not rushed. They're actually there and can see the process and also participate in the process of preparing food. And this is a great life skill for preschoolers. Number three, at home, there is a one-to-one -one ratio of child to parent. If you go on to the blog, I have more information on this post and I have a chart of the ages and the child to adult ratio laws for a preschool classroom. And you can see how many adults have to be present with a certain number of children in a preschool classroom. In your home, your child has a one to one ratio with you, the parent. If you have other children, the ratio is still going to be much, much lower than it would be in a preschool classroom. When your child is home with you, the parent, they are with someone who cares more about them than anyone else, is more interested in the things that they're interested in. There is no one that will work harder to meet the needs of your child than you, the parent. Number four, flexibility. In a preschool setting, you are limited to the needs of the group. And so um, you spend some time walking in lines, 
you know, you have a schedule for your group that is based on the needs of the larger daycare or preschool needs and the settings that, you know, the times that they need to be in the cafeteria or in the outside play area. Um, but at home, you have a lot of flexibility. You're not limited to bathroom breaks, to certain times where you have to be outside or inside. You can set your own schedule. You can pick up and go. You can base things around the individual needs of you and your child. Number five, slow mornings. Now, some people may think that it's great for young, young children to learn how to get up very early and um, to have somewhere to go. But if you've spent a lot of time with preschool kids, they're slow. If you ever try to get a preschool child ready and out the door, it can be a painstaking process because they dawdle, they stop and look at everything. They take their time because for them, they're experiencing everything for the very first time. When your child is home, you can enjoy the slow mornings. They can take time to learn some of the important things like making their bed. They can enjoy their breakfast. It's unhurried, it's unrushed. It's more suited to the needs of very young children. Number six, at home, your child has more time and more opportunities to be outside. Their time outside is not limited by anyone else's schedule. Outside time is so important for young children because they learn so much through their five senses. I did a whole post on five important routines for a homeschool preschool, and I explain in this post why outside time is so important for children. If your child is outside in your backyard, they are exposed to so many more natural elements, flowers, trees, rocks, insects, mammals, more birds, more variety of things. They're not in a preschool playground for a certain amount of time. Um, often the preschool playgrounds that I have seen have much fewer natural elements. Um, they may have some you know, swings and a slide and some play things, but they're not going to have as many sensory opportunities as you'll find in just a natural environment, you know, in the woods or your backyard. Number seven, structure and security. One of the basic needs for very young children is structure and security. Your child will feel safe with you at home and they can adapt to your rhythms. When you're with your children for an extensive period of time, it may be um, intimidating as a new mom to think about having your preschooler at home with you. You know, you may wonder what to do with them all day. Again, I did a whole post on five important routines for a preschool homeschool. I would encourage you to take a look at that. It helps you to set up some of those rhythms and routines. But once you have been home together for a period of time, you just get into a rhythm. You realize that you need a little bit of structure to your day. And you can um, structure your day based on the needs of you and your child. They're not confined to the schedule and the structure that's based on the needs of a large group. Number eight, at home, your preschooler has opportunities for friendships that extend into other spheres of life. So um, in a preschool, you know, they go and they have their preschool friends. They see them at preschool. There's not really a lot of other places that they're going to see them. At home, if you have play dates, um, maybe you meet with a neighborhood friend or with some people from church, they have opportunities to make friendships with people that they're going to see again in other spheres of life. These people can come into your home and then your preschooler has the opportunity to go into their home when you have play dates at their home. So at home, your preschooler has more chances to develop friendships with people that they're going to see in other spheres of life. They're gonna see them again and these make deep friendships. Number nine, at home, your preschooler has more opportunities to learn life skills because they are not rushed and they can kind of do things at their own pace. They can spend time in the morning brushing their teeth, making their bed, getting dressed. You know, you can work on helping them do it, you know, 
well. And so it's not just rushed and, you know, they're just getting out of bed, putting their stuff on, grabbing a bar and getting out the door. It can be practiced and they can become better at it. It's an opportunity for them to learn to do age appropriate chores. I've done several posts on life skills and in those I've included some appropriate chores for a preschool child. So at home, they have lots of chances to learn some of the life skills, watching you wash the dishes, switch the laundry, and all of the things that happen in a natural environment in a home. And finally, number 10, when your child is with you in your home versus a preschool, they have more chances to experience the community and more variety in experiencing the community. Uh, if you think about it, a lot of times in a preschool, they'll spend time on learning about community workers. So um, they'll bring in maybe like a policeman or they'll take a field trip to a grocery store and they work hard to, you know, make sure they can get these field trips in and for the children to experience all these things. When your child is home with you, they are going with you regularly to the bank, to the library, to restaurants to the post office, all the things that you normally do. They have more chances and more opportunities to be in the community and more variety in what they see in the community. So these are the 10 reasons that I think home is better than preschool. If you are feeling that pressure that you don't want your children to get behind academically or that you need to enroll them in a preschool or you know they're just not going to be as far ahead as some of the other kids, I want to encourage you from my experience in the classroom, from my experience as a mom, that I think home has so much more to offer your very young child. If you are new to my channel, would you please like and subscribe? I share weekly videos on homeschooling, giving you homeschooling encouragement to help you either get started or to keep you going on your journey. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.